going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and today I'm playing a mod called Better German Alt History. And this is made by a country ball called Germany Luxembourg. So I'll leave a link to the mod in the description. So here we go. This mod adds many new paths for the fascist opposition including restoring the Weimar system, a communist path and new leaders that you can get as democratic Germany. Improved on many focuses, often cutting down their time and moved around many of them. So I haven't played a German alt history mod for a while, so I'm going to enjoy this one. And if you want to see more, please do comment, like and subscribe, but let's just get straight into this. Maybe 3000 likes. Okay, so we'll be playing as Germany. As I'm playing alt history, should we have alt history in the world? Yeah. Go on then. I imagine this is going to make the world go absolutely bonkers, but hey ho. So this is what the new tree looks like. So we have the old basic focus tree and all of the industrial stuff. Then we've got the Rhineland over here. And then we have Oppose. Hitler, where you can secure the new state, then you can either return to the Weimar system, do a union with Austria, we can also go down this route, we can also go down the communist route as well. Uh, there's also Operation Toblerone, if you're that way inclined. But there's also this uh, tree over here where you could actually try and make... Oh no, they, ha they added Brexit. The Britain will not be part of the European Federation, but the Federation will be more stable. You what? No, I want to be the Brenta. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I don't think that's going to happen, but <laughs> let's do this. Oppose Hitler, where we'll start with this, and it only takes 35 days now. And I like to be a greedy Civ boy, so I tend to go and do the focuses here to begin with, all of the industrial focuses. And I might improve the artillery. No. MGs for me. Okay, so I'm using a potato PC in the UK at the moment. It's from the end of 2017, so if things don't look as crisp as they normally do, it's because I'm using a very outdated PC nowadays. I'm back visiting family, so hopefully you'll still all enjoy. Oh! Uh oh! Okay, so oppose Hitler. Purge! 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 Okay, shall we get Gerd? I think we'll get Gerd, because we'll need the Urban Assault Specialist. Owen Rommel can lead our regular troops. And Heinz can lead the Landsturm. But in the meantime, I will now go over and start doing all of the industrial focuses while we're in this civil war. And we may as well go to war economy. Just getting everything set up. We're just going to play a bit defensively to begin with. And let's get our air force also up in the sky. If you're wondering about the civil war, you should be able to win it. If, you, if you're not winning it, well, hopefully this will help. But yes, we are embroiled in the civil war. I would play defensively defensively but the civil war is fairly simple to do especially if you can start getting some encirclements and start cutting off the north i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that just yet but it's worth taking a few tiles trying to take nuremberg you know small price to pay and then we'll just keep trying to expand i'm going to stop playing on five speed just just to hopefully show what we're doing okay now we can modify our officer corps if i wanted to i had a military high command it's only the anti-submarine one so i'm not going to bother with that if we can take this airfield up here that'd be very useful yeah i've never really just battle planned it and, it, and it's got so well here so I'm, I'm actually surprised that we have such power here to do this straight away uh, I would have expected a bit more resistance from our enemies our foes do we have uh, anyone else doing whatever we don't know yet but one thing's for sure I'm not going to forget about making an intelligence agency fast forward to later in the video where I've completely forgot about making an intelligence agency <laughs> Autarky. Now, I'm sure most of you could probably do this in a shorter time span than what I'm doing, but we're just playing for fun today. We're not trying to be some sweaty meta boy. I'm just a sweaty English boy in my parents' attic. There we go. We've cut off the south, so that should be a nice pocket to just mop up. Taken back Dresden. Soon Munich will be in my hands. Oh, taking Munich's going to be sweet. There we go. Oh, it's actually a bit weird playing with different equipment. You get so used to your current setup that now I'm playing around with a new mouse and keyboard where it's not new they're old but anyway who do i want to recruit who has the most nationalities all right fritz norman no but we'll go for fritz <laughs> oh we've added we're gonna add 35 units of train to the national stockpile i don't remember that being there but maybe it's just because i haven't looked at it for a long time <laughs> probably that we've lost rostock um but they don't really have any equipment left so I'll, I'll just let them keep doing that i'll just mop up this before we go for like the final the final conquest but i think they have local supply in rengensburg at the moment so it's making it quite hard to oh no never mind we'll just encircle them little by little so that is really how i do the civil war 
I would focus on isolating the south and then clearing up the encirclements down here before you start doing the final major push on Berlin. That's how I would do the Civil War. You do it however you want to, you lovely, you lovely jubblies. The south is now taken. We'll amass for a massive military assault going forward. I think I'll do long range raiding, perhaps, or high speed raid. Uh, let's do high speed. We'll wait till everything's assembled and then I'll hit the go button. Oh, they actually have aerial superiority a little bit. Interesting. And now the cast will come into play. Good. Mecklenburg has been taken. Yes. Almost at Berlin. It is inevitable. Hitler's found dead. Good. Ding dong. The dickhead's gone. The dickhead's gone. The dickhead's gone. There we go. They have been eliminated and we will uh, hang them. Now, what route do I want to go down? We've got many things to choose from. I'm not sure how warlike I want to be. This might even be a bit of a peaceful run, although I may have to save Europe from itself. You know? So why don't we just secure the new state here? Secure the new state. I might go down light tanks. I feel like light tanks are just going to be fun for some reason. So this is going to be my light tank template for now. I don't think that's terrible. But yeah, light tanks. Light tank Germany. Mmm. Oh. Oh, hello, Brazil. Oh, what is that colour of Norway? The Kingdom of Norway. Well, 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 well. And here's Brazil. Remember, Alex, you're being a greedy civ boy for quite some time. Maybe until 39. Right, we'll establish free elections. I'm not going to do revive the <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to re-establish free elections. Oh. Oh, we... Oh. Denmark offers a trade proposal, and we shall accept. And I'll also try and rebuild the nation after that civil war. We will need it. We will need to. A new and better Germany. Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you. How's France doing? Uh-huh. How's Czechoslovakia doing? Uh-huh. The UK may, in fact, be staying democratic. Well, I think I'm going to become a liberal journalist or a democratic reformer. Do I, what, what do I, let's go for the democratic reformer. Here we go, Kurt. You'll be of use to me. I may just upgrade the Panzer Division so they're not as terrible. I think uh, 20 combat width will just do fine. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at my <laughs> econ e economy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm banning communism. I need to do that in order to progress down my focus tree. Okay, I'm going to return to the Weimar system. While many oppose it, the Weimar system will be best able to protect our people's rights. After all, everyone deserves a second try, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? Moves capital to Thrungen. Oh, Berlin be gone. I'm going to have to stop building my sieves. As much as it pains me, I do need to... No! No, 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 let's get a few more. Get a few more. Get a few more. We've still got the national revitalization and rebuild the nation until July. So, Italy seeks extensive military pact. Mm, not sure about that. I'm going to do a union with Austria, see if they want to join me. Germans press for Anschluss. Yeah. Ever since the end of the Great War, pro-German sentiment has skyrocketed in Austria. Even though Versailles says it's illegal, what is also illegal is that the people aren't allowed to choose their government. No matter what, Austria will be ours. Lovely. Oh, that's enough to make me... Uh... <laughs> ignore that. But good. That's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Our enemies are fighting amongst themselves. Lovely. You lovely. Ah, we're the Germany transitional government at the moment. Okay. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? Good. It all becomes cause. Lovely stuff. Election Sunday. Go on then. While Conrad's provisional government has been very popular, it's time to hold our first election since the fall of the Weimar Republic back in 1933. While many say that the CDU, CDU is the likely winner, it could be anyone. I wonder who it could be. I don't even know yet. Oh, we got the Italian League. Eee. Okay, I may be going to war with the Italians soon. Don't want Mussolini getting too big for his... Oh, it's Italian Yugoslavia? You haven't a... What? What the... F Do you know what I've never done? I don't think I've ever done a successful run as Red Germany. Although I feel that Italy needs to be stopped. So I might try and ally with the UK and then... Yes... Yes, 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 yes. Maybe Operation Toblerone will be vital once more. So we can either go for the Union, the FDP. Oh, look at that. Oh, consumer goods factor negative 15%. Yeah, we're going for that. We're going for that. The Liberal and Libertarian Free Democratic Parties. Of I don't know much about German politics, so if I'm picking a really, really bad party, my bad. But that's how we roll on the Alex the Rambler channel. Just going to protect my boy. 
and I'll accept- I will accept British naval dominance. We require allies to fight communism. Well, I'm not really going after the communists. Uh, wait, except is France going communist? Oh. Oh, it's Polish-Lithuania now. Okay, in the Kingdom of Poland. Right. How do I justify? Let's go for the new ally. The Federal Republic seeks a new ally. Yes. Let me in the allies. I'll be a good boy. Oh! That's a portrait I've not seen before. Hello there, Kanzler. Theodore Hus. Okay, and together we shall defend democracy. And then the next thing is end fascism in Europe. But uh, I feel like I should have more than that, right? Why don't we do the Great Red Menace? The, the, the Great Red Menace. We're also lacking rubber, which won't be a problem for the rest of the game now that we're allied to the UK, hopefully. Oh, more... Uh, Denmark has cancelled the trade agreement. Uh, I'm speaking out against the Soviet Union. I mean, not that they're in much of a position to do a lot right now. They're, they're having a bit of trouble. I think I've done this tree quite poorly now because, for example, it relies on the French going communist in order to do that. We'll see. We'll see. There's got to be a start to the World War II, right? And I could be, I, I could definitely be encouraged to declare war. Can I justify? No because I'm a democracy. You're a democracy! Can't believe we're actually allied with old Winston Churchill. I really hope France doesn't uh, join the Allies. It's be quite a boring game if they do. I gotta say, having a massive civilian economy is just ridiculous. I can just build whatever the frick I want and uh, and just have no repercussions for the rest of the... Let's get infrastructure. <laughs> Let's just get infrastructure. Let's 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 build the autobahns. Who needs trains when you can have cars, eh? Because I'm getting a decent size. I'm military. Like we're doing well. We've got nine hundred thousand in the field. Then I can just go ahead and now formalize the treaty. What do you? The Netherlands. I'm just gonna decline. I'm surprised that the UK is at war with the Netherlands. Do you know what? I think I might go after them. Call me in. Germany at war again. It's not my fault. It's not my fault this time. It's it's the blame Winston. Hashtag blame Winston. You are not having that, Mr. UK. Can I take their navy? There we go. That's it for me. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Well, thank you, UK. That was very nice of you. Wait. Oh, I'm just gonna let them sort that out. I don't think they need my help against Iran or Iraq. If they can't do that, then that's pretty sad. Wow, Poland's going for it, aren't they? Jeez. Okay, Poland's actually really going for it. I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I may have to go and try and help out the UK. They appear to be struggling against Iraq and Iran. I don't want to help them, though. I just don't want to do it. I'd rather just go to war with Italy, you know? Have some fun down there. Why don't we do that? End fascism in Europe. Fascism is a dark, bloody stain on the continent's history. Let us get rid of it. Do, do I declare war? Oh, oh, I forgot about Hungary. Whoops. <laughs> I bet they're just thinking, what? <laughs> You can forget about me? How dare you? How dare you? Well, not that I need to worry about them just yet. I could just go to war with Italy first. You look just shocked, mate. Italio Balba. Uh, yeah, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Oh, they're going to attack me too. You'd love to see that. Do I have any more fighters? Of course I do. I would like superiority in the skies if I can get it. They're even force attacking me. I, I love Italy. I love how stupid they are. Okay, so how is the UK doing? They have pushed a little bit further into Iraq, but are stuck. They have not pushed barely into Iran. If, in fact, they've been pushed. Iran's pushed them. Oh my god. This is just going to be an absolute state. I'm going to try a little push, see if we can actually push. Is that it? Is that all it took? Actually, it's going to take more. It's going to take more than what I have to offer right now. I also have way too many factories to do anything with. I'm going to stop attacking. Maybe if I went through Hungary, that would help. Let's do that. I'm going to see if Manstein can just push through the army here. Be hilarious if they could. If not, I am sending tanks down under the command of Von Bock. Von Bocken? I'm hoping they should do okay, my little light tanks. Oh, Italy. I didn't, didn't know you were doing that. Well, so ends the life. Poland's declared war on the Soviet Union. Oh my days. Poland, you giga chad. Okay, so opening another front hasn't really achieved much. I need to think more tactically about this. How about I send in more tanks? <laughs> Although we don't really have the supply down here right now. But we'll upgrade the bottlenecks. We'll motorize everyone's supply. Oh, the USA has joined us. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so once we actually have supply, we can absolutely trounce them. You're gonna go into absolute sicko mode now, Mr. Von Bock. We'll go to, or at least try and go around to Budapest. Looks like we're gonna be able to push across the river. Might not even need to worry about it. There we go, Budapest is taken. Sorry, I say Budapest. I believe it's pronounced Budapest. Budapest, 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 Budapest. Budapest. Watch me crush them. White Finland has joined the Italian League. Uh, not a fan of 
that. Let's keep them penned in there. I don't think I want to have to deal with them. I wonder why they're at war with Romania. Hold the, th hold the phone. Hold the phone. Since when did Italy join the Italian League? Sorry, when did Poland join the Italian... When did Poland join the Italian League? That's not good. I honestly thought this was going to be a quick, easy war, but now it's just a fight against half of Europe. Let's see if I can push through. Yeah, so I might be able to push into Italy here. This might be very sad for them. Looks like we're pushing into Italy, lads and ladies and all who may watch. Let's send some reinforcements down there. I'd rather just take out Italy and then just... Yeah... This is going to be nice. Where are your armies now, matey? Huh? Good. The Kingdom of Italy declared war on Italy. And it looks like Italy's capitulated. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, looks like they didn't put any troops on my border and I'm at war with them. So why don't we seize upon that and absolutely rip, 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 riggedy wreck them? Because I don't think they've got anything to stop me. So I'll take as much Polish territory as I can before they're actually able to do anything. Oh, this has happened to me so many times. I've been on the receiving end of this before and oh boy, it feels so good. I didn't even want to go after Poland. You made me do this. You should have just stayed in your own little piddly faction. You were becoming the Chad of Europe, and now I've had to come and crush you. I don't feel good about this. There we go. One by one, the nation's full. Oh my goodly goo, I'm out of manpower. How long till Poland-Lithuania gives up? Oh, I only have to capitulate them, and then we've done it. Well, that's gone rather nicely. Let's start picking up some territory. I think that's going to be it. Oh no, now what's happening? The Soviet Union is justifying against us. Are you really? Okay, I guess I'll send my army now over to uh, the Soviet Union border. Oh, what's happened down here? We've got German Italy. Oh, thank you very much. I didn't even select that myself. I think the UK gave it me. Oh, the absolute darlings. I can't believe that the Italian League still exists. Just take Tehran. No, that's the wrong way. It's the wrong way, matey. Oh... I expect my agents will get captured immediately, but I'm hoping with the whole of Europe and the <laughs> USA <laughs> and Brazil, we should be able to take down the European syndicate. Soviet Union declared war on Iran. Mm. The Soviet Union has called the Soviet Albe... Oh, Soviet Romania has joined the Soviet Union as our ally. What? I am confused. Nope. Okay, they're actually our enemy. They are our enemy. Um, I'm just going to go and try and take some territory before they have much opportunity to do, do that. I'm pretty sure they, they're not very strong, though. They don't have any manpower, and they barely have any divisions. This is going to be embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, Iran capitulated. I wonder if they'll be able to get any help from anyone here? Because this is going to be pretty embarrassing for them. See, actually, do you know what? It's embarrassing for me at the moment, because my troops aren't bloody doing anything. Come on. Well... We're not facing much opposition. I think we could just walk into Leningrad. Oh, never mind. Leningrad has been taken already by the British. Thank you, British. Thank you, British! <laughs> I, j I don't need to do anything. All my allies are just going to win every war for me now. Lovely, Jubilee. Okay, Soviet Romania capitulated. I wonder if the Soviet Union... Actually, let's see if we can start... Oh, they're all back. I guess we advanced too quickly and the network we were building up didn't end up needing to be built well this has gone a lot smoother than i had first thought i mean they don't they don't have any units so so lacking supply isn't really an issue you know i can just walk everywhere so they they are gonna lose we are gonna be able to get every single city that we need such as mamansk archangel would be another one looks like the soviets are gonna capitulate anytime soon and then that's the only one that needs to capitulate i think if there's one city around here anywhere hello there we go I may as well expand in a little bit. Get some all of all souls. Soviet Romania, I want to puppet if I can. And I think that's all I really want. Don't want to go crazy, you know? I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're all going to be part of the same faction now. Like, the whole world is now under this one massive allies faction. Oh, except the Russian Federation is now in it. And there's still the Europeans in So the Okay, peace deals. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> 
Oh dear. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this little praise for you. I know it's only 1941, but I'm in a faction where, you know, no one can stand against us. The only threat left is, is Japan, and that's more just pain than anything fun. I do like the fact that they've added more portraits to the mod. I kind of regret not going down the communist route. I feel like that could have been quite fun. And especially we could have done foundations for a European federation. That could have been cool as well. But do I think that it's worthwhile to subscribe to the mod? Uh, I think yes. If you're looking for a bit more German flavour than what you usually get, this is definitely worth a try. So once again, link to the mod will be in the description. Thank you everyone for watching and expect more content back uh, very soon. But for now, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Kanzler. Ta-da! Many thanks to Duff Bowl, Jack Troku, Abdominable Seti, Alex, Chancellor64, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions of the Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and channel members too. Thank you very much.